joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. Our brothers and sisters have made numerous sacrifices in this contraption called Nigeria to make it work. What do we get in the back? What we got back is abuse, insult, dehumanization, attack, loss of life. Whatever the zoo is today, in international community, we made it. Whatever respect or prestige they have, whatever name they have left in the world today, kudos to Biafran people. Take it or leave it. The Biafran people contributed 70% and the remaining percentage is from the Southwest. That is the truth, undeniable truth. But the time has come when you have to stop channeling that your energy to the wrong part. We, the Biafran people, we have sacrificed enough for Nigeria. We have given enough, given, 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 and they continue to take, take, and take. We cannot give anymore. It is high time we build our own home. A place that everyone of us will return. A home for our unborn children. A land that we will defend. This is the time for us to engage in that. Our Supreme Namazim Nandi can preach this message. It is a hard message. Very difficult for people to understand. Mazim Nandi can preach this message. Our eternal leader, Dim Odmegojuku, preached this message. But we did not listen. Out of fear of the unknown, out of cowardice. Our eternal leader, Dim Odmegojuku, cried out when he went to Third Fair and he saw what the Biafran people were doing. Literally using money to clean, to close swamp. Biafrans were turning a swampy area, water. Water they turn into other land with money in another man's land, and our eternal leader cried and told them good morning, good morning, and they never came to their computer senses. Our eternal leader cried, tell them to return back home. How many times will something happen to you before you learn your lesson? Reminded them about abandoned properties here and there. Yet, out of their cowardice, they still remain there. Our supreme leader, Mazin Nandekano, came on board and he continued to preach. Akuruno, Amaloyan Bataria. Begin to campaign and tell them, return back home, return back home. Our supreme leader cried and cried, call, even people will not. Begin to prepare yourself to return back home. He preached that message and preached. Nobody was listening. And he crossed it and said, wherever you think you are, go ahead, stay there, protect yourself and begin to defend yourself from there. For us to stop what we are doing simply because of you and whatever you think you have there, you are wasting your time. We cannot sell out our freedom or give up our freedom because of your one apartment that you have abroad. We cannot sell off our freedom because of one hotel you built or how many room and parlor you build you are renting in other states no mazim nanakana made it clear and he stopped that message mazim nanakana told him a time will come all those things you are calling well you think you are acquiring properties you are acquiring in other land a time will come when they are going to take it away broad daylight in your own very eyes Today, you know that the world is not going the way it used to be to before. That is why you see what is happening in Lagos. Today, it is no longer easy to see somebody's property and take it 
and say he's abandoned property. It is not easy. It's not obtainable, obtainable in this generation. In 21st century, abandoned property, they know that it's not going to happen. What are they doing today? They are using the government state power to destroy the land and take it back. They are using the state power to destroy your property and take the land back. Every one of you had Shetima when he was discussing this with Kunle, what they are going to do in Lagos State. You had it, Shetima, the present vice president. The audio is still there. When Shetima and Kunle we are discussing, and Shetima was trying to enumerate what every plan they had against the Biafran people, more especially the Ibo Biafrans, the plan they had against them. How they are going to take over their businesses. How they are going to make sure they don't have any place to stay. How they are going to make sure that they pay triple in everything. How they are going to destroy their properties. He was saying it. How the country is going to be between them and the, their group alone. Every one of us saw that video. We had it. But yet, years we are blocked. Today it is happening. And some are surprised. Oh, why is this happening? Why is it happening? You are surprised? And I can tell you, even as you are watching me, as we are doing the video, some people are still buying property in Lagos. As this is happening, some people are still paying for properties in Lagos and they are still buying. And in other places, even in the north, some people are still laying foundation. That's why I tell you, it takes a lot to be a Biafran. It takes confidence. It takes bravery. It takes truthfulness and consistency to be a Biafran. If you don't have those, you are going to be a slave for the rest of your life. But the Biafran people, we are not slaves. We are freeborn. We know who we are. We don't need to be reminded. Our eternal leader, Dimo Odumogu knows who he is. That was why he didn't wait for anybody to remind him to defend his own land. And he took up responsibility. Our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano knows who he is. That's why he answered the call by Chuku Hukabiyama. He didn't wait for anybody to sponsor him or do that. And he began to run around to do what he has to do. And on this time, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic Government in exile, Mazen Simon Ewa, knows very well who he is as a Biafra. That is why he's not waiting for anybody. He's not waiting for any approval from anybody. Whether you support or not support, he's moving ahead. Doing everything he can do. Shaking all doors and breaking all doors and entering. Because he knows who he is. That is the spirit of Biafra. We are not cowards. We are not beggars. We are not slaves. We are free born. Always have that at the back of your mind. Have that bravery. Be brave to identify yourself as a Biafra. Be brave to identify yourself. Be brave to claim whom you are. Do not deny yourself. No matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, don't deny yourself. Don't deny yourself. Most of you must have watched the video where the lawyer of our school, Amazon Michael Zekome, was speaking. When you hear the words that Michael Zekome was speaking, for those who think maybe you will not understand us, or maybe you will not like to listen to us, or maybe you don't understand the language we speak, maybe you don't understand our grammar or English, maybe you don't understand the way we present our program. At least, go and listen to Michael Zekome and not brokers. You will now understand better what is going on. What crime has the Biafran people committed? Nothing. The only crime that we committed is that we are asking for our rights. Under the law. Not outside the law. We are asking for our rights. Under the law. Self-determination. 
We are asking for self dimension, which is enshrined on international law, African Charter law. Nigerian law itself supports it. But yet, they come after us with all heavy hands, take our lives because we are asking for that which belongs to us. A legitimate request, peaceful and legitimate request. They come against you with all manner of violence. And today, here are we. Should we continue to fold our hands and watch our young men and women, our children and mothers raped? Should we continue? Of course we will not. That is where the bravery of the Biafran people comes in. We can't see evil happening and we'll be silent. We must speak. We must talk. And that is why we are talking. And it will not only end in talking. We are taking action. We are taking action on the ground. And we will continue to do so until Biafra land is liberated completely. On our Supreme Damazin Nande Khan, who has laid the foundation that we are following, Mazin Nande Khan release is something that has to be in the heart and mind of every Biafra. I thank you, Kuku Kabiyama, for that wake up call that Iwanyangu has as the new leader of Ohanese. It won't stop there. Every one of them should put their hand on deck. It's not just talking. Go into action. All the governors, all the senators, every one of them should go into action. If they don't, if they don't, whatever comes to them, they ask for it. It is no longer time to beg them. Today, today, it has become clear. Even Ozekome made it clear, that's his statement. That's why I say I recommend the people to go and watch that very video. The way Ozekomo narrated the world, the contributions the Biafra has made in that Zulka Republic. Starting from the civil war down, how they have decided to push the Biafra people aside, continue to dehumanize and attack us on every stages for no just cause. We cannot continue to make peace with those who do not want peace with us. We cannot continue. It is time we define this finally so that every man will go to his tent. That is where we are. And if you are a Biafran, I have said it, that it takes bravery to be a Biafran. You don't just come and say you are a Biafran and you walk away. You don't just be a Biafran by bad. It takes a lot of bravery to be a Biafran. Biafranness comes with a lot of responsibility. And every one of us must take up that responsibility today. Pick it up. That is something you can do. That is something I can do. That is something every one of us, children, old and young, men and women, father, mother, sisters, brothers, there are things we can do. Whichever area you know, that you can be able to perform or participate. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and start doing it immediately. What are you waiting for? Our Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile is on a very high speed. Don't slow him down. Do not be part of those who are going to slow him down. And I trust him so much that the more you try to slow him, the more you increase his speed. Those who have tried to slow him down in the past, they saw him that his speed become more than, more than they can handle. That is how you know when the handle Chuku Okakabema is on Tonti. The more they try to slow him, the more faster he goes. What every one of us should be doing today is to support our Prime Minister the best way we can. You have a voice. You have somebody who can speak for you. If you have a problem, any part of the world, channel your problem to the right source. Stop calling the zoo. They will not listen to you. They have told you to your face, you are not part of us. They tell it to you 
orally, they tell it to you by action, they tell it to you in audio, anywhere that they have something to do with the they will tell you, you are not part of it. Why won't you understand that? Why is it so difficult for you to understand? Why? Why is it so difficult for you to understand that you are not wanted anywhere around them? Time has come that we have to wake up. Every one of us must wake up and do what we have to do. Take up our responsibility. Pursue this cause of Biafra and get it right. I say once again, it takes more than that to be a Biafran. Biafranness comes with a lot of responsibility. You must be bold, you must be truthful, and you must be consistent in anything you are doing. Those are the things that makes you a true Biafran. Put that at the back of your mind. Think about it. And remember, there is no other way out. Our only single request is Biafra. We are not asking for any presidency, not for resources, not for resource control. We are asking for an independent nation of Biafra. Let them conduct a referendum so that we can be able to get out of the zoo. Conduct a referendum. Whatever be the result, we accept it. That is what we want. And not until that is done, we are going to get it by hook or crook. Anywhere they want it, we are going to give it to them. So you that is a Biafran, prepare yourself for what is coming. And once again, this month of May, keep it in record. Every civil disobedience in this month of May has a major role to play on our way to freedom. Participate fully in it. Prepare yourself for it. The force it at home for the coming of their Zoological Republic dead man. The four days sit at home and the two weeks sit at home. Prepare yourself for them. Prepare yourself. We have to make a strong statement in this month of May. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We must be brave. It is either we go for our freedom or you choose to be a slave. You cannot be lukewarm. You can't be in between. It's either you're here or you're there. Either you choose to be a free man or you choose to be a slave. And I bet you, the autopiloted IPOB on the Biafra Republic government in exile under our Prime Minister Mazi Simon Eber and on the leadership of Mazi Nandekano, the only thing we are demanding for is the freedom of Biafra. We are demanding for the state of Biafra and we must get it in 2023. Take it or leave it. You should work with Kabi my guide and protect every beer from wherever you are watching from. Whichever part of the world you are watching this program from, I say, may you work with guide and protect you. May you work with guide and protect all the beer from people, all the Ududua people, all the Middle Bertans. Everyone that is watching this program, any place you are, may you work with guide and protect you. May you work with guide and protect all our media warriors. Guide and protect every one of us that is fighting day and night for beer from. May Chukwu come and protect our ESN, the Liberation Army. May Chukwu come and protect you, the BNL, every other forces on the ground that are fighting for Biafra. May Chukwu come and protect every one of you. May Chukwu come and protect the Umwada that are doing marvelous work. Umwada and their leader, Honorable Azoka. May Chukwu come and protect them and secure them. May Chukwu come and protect our Prime Minister. Or be afraid of the government in Ezra, Master Simon Eva. May you go come and protect you, secure you, give you strength, give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, keep you wherever you are. May you go come and protect our supreme leader, Master Nande Kano. Secure him and keep him safe for us. Give him more wisdom and understanding. Secure him and give him absolute security wherever he is. No weapon formed or fashion against us, be afraid, shall prosper. No weapon formed or fashioned against our new Prime Minister of Biafra Government in Exile, Mazi Simon Eva, shall prosper. No weapon formed or fashioned against Mazen Nandekano shall prosper. Thank you so much for watching wherever you're watching from.